I wonder if this was all that's necessary inside of someone's body to be able to take out the least amount as possible to continue on in a different body. I think I just pinpointed where I used to I used to live on Old Tampa Highway. I believe it was the second one in, the second house in. 3625 Old Tampa Highway. This is where it was at when I was 10 years old. This section right here, I don't know if this is exactly the address. I guess so if it's written on top, right? There was eight different units, about nine are still there. And I remember, so I'd wait over here to catch the bus. Man, I hated waiting for that bus. One time I pretended I was looking for something. I couldn't find it just so I can skip school. And I forgot what I did it. He had just roamed in these woods a lot. There's a lot of woods back here. And then the railroad tracks. One of my hobbies was to put pennies on the and let it run it over and flatten it out i don't want to put quarters there because that you gotta you can play the video games with the quarters and i just remember roaming around this area by myself a lot just going down the train tracks it's in that area mainly because of the woods then Publix was right up the road. Publix. And then I went to Jesse Keene Elementary. And that was about five minutes down the road there. My mom used to, I used to get a ride from some old guy. I'll call Old Man Joe. He had a hole in his throat and he had that thing. Or maybe he was a robot. I, I don't know. Sounded like a robot had that hole in his throat. He used to drive me to school sometimes in the back of his pickup truck. Going down to Jesse Keene Elementary School. This is when I was 10 years old. Looks like somebody has a microphone singing with his hand out, his teeth, his eyeballs there. Yeah, and I remember these little cottages, little cottages of school classrooms. Couldn't tell you which one I was in, but I remember making book book holders, like a little opening wooden book holder you just sit it on. And then I also remember going there when I was 10 years old, I had a shirt that had a hole in it and they were giving out stickers that day. So I didn't want to get the sticker and put it over the hole to make it look like I'm covering the hole up in my shirt because of how you know, poor I was. This little girl came over, she's like, Look, here, she peeled it off of there and then put it over the hole. I go, oh, man, thanks. Poor little 10 year old kid had no chance of anything. That's all I really remember in Florida is, uh, is that. And just roaming around a lot by myself. In this area, going to Publix, going to Circle K, stealing some ham and cheese because, you know, I was hungry. I was, was kind of hungry. I didn't, I didn't really have a job at 10 years old, but there wasn't really much, much food going on either. 
at the time. So here's the two places I, I, I don't, I mean, I remember living in one, but <laughs> obviously when I was born, I don't remember. So I lived in, I lived here first in Florida, Conception, 1702. And the Lakeland Regional Medical Center is right over there in that area. When I lived back here, what is that? How many more minutes? 26 minutes altogether, round trip, or for all three areas. So where Jesse King is right around here. And then Ariana Street, Ariana, like Ariana Grande Street. And then the hospital was all the way down here. Not right there, not that one, not we don't want to talk about the elephant in the room. Spoiler, we have identified the elephant in the room. Now, this is an older video from three months ago. However, the algorithm of the title showed up first page on my when I look at the YouTube. Let me see here. This thing even on. Whoa. Hello there, everybody. I just wanted to say hey real quick and let you know that I'm now finishing up what seems to be an in-depth video concerning Jonathan, the twins, and everything that went on down at that ARC Center. I've got a couple... He didn't say Jonathan, the twins, meaning, else, meaning the Jonathan twins. Gene Rebel and Jonathan Cleck. Not that hospital there where the elephant in the room was born. It's this other one that's way down over here, basically where the head of this, where the head is. Not only right there, there's also an elephant right here with the trunk coming up and out, and feet down at the bottom. Elephant trunk. This is a, it's a miniature zoo. Mini zoo with the magnet drawing the, the beast to the, to the art inside of the building. Put your spatula compassing the camp. And then old uh, Henry Ford there, Henry Ford, they charged him one dollar just to make the chalk mark. But the rest, $9,999. To, to show where he made the check mark. Right across the street from the prosthetic leg looking landscape. Assessment of the cover of that magazine. And I, for one, 
would like to know why. But you're not going to get away with it this time. Not this time, Jonathan. Because it seems as if you blundered this one. You went off script and it showed. And I see things like that and it reminds me of this hey, Rob. magazine. Right, right side up, it? upside down leg. See it? That's photoshopped. It fell on the floor. The Lord shows me this is the inside of the cover. Hell, it even... And then... So I made it on Gene Rebel's channel again. But I wasn't... I wasn't looking at the hospital where I was born with that leg there at all eight, eight, ten months ago where the eagle has landed. Eagle, Hitler. And so this, the algorithm of this title, the one-legged man with the thumbnail of the foot going that direction, I click on it. I click on it. There I am. I just realized it. And as I'm showing you now, the foot. So that's how AI works. That it's just the algorithm gets put in your in your favor to see something that it's what you're pertaining to. Hell, it even got banned from YouTube. You were crying that it was over some free speech issue, but it sure seemed like a rather docile video to me when I watched it. That's so what I'm, what I was saying was, I feel like the click twins, one of them is showing you what the other one is saying, and it seemed like when when Click was talking about that magazine that he was saying it's a bunch of bull horse malarkey, the way that the foot went, maybe it's because. His foot, when it fell off, didn't go in that direction. They're trying to make fun of him or something because because uh, he happens to be, I don't know, born at the same hospital I was. I, I have my legs. I, I'm, I don't even understand. Like I'm just born as normal and average of a human being that you can possibly be. But Barto seems to be where the head. Maybe this is the, the baby, the the birthing. Go down there and to that little feeding trough because this is where the animals are on the inside. Going in, they're being fed by being magnetized to what's to what was birthed here. That's so great when it does it. Just love it. With the Hitler walk, his feet up, high kick, the shoes there. You got John Cox right here. The other day in the video, Jonathan Click, the one Jonathan Click was showing you the dirt bag that was that took his moniker and was trying to act like him with Rosemary Cox. So there's John, and John is here where L, the Almighty God Lakeland Stadium, is right there where the Lakeland Regional Health Medical Center, where the, don't forget about the elephant in the room, and Mary Gardner. is right there, our Gardner Mary. Our 
right across from where the elephant in the room is. And Mary Gardner is, Gardner Mary is 300 Kings Crossing, Crossing. And Stephen Nude had 300 pages of evidence of what? How many signs were there, Skip? <clears throat> About 300, 330. Looks like a kind of like a baby lion, the head in the front there, the paws up the front, the back, the tail. Almost looks like a prosthetic leg, too, in the, in the bottom. But if you go, you got the Lakeland, the little baby lion there. It's like, F this place. And I'm up here where this head is popping out of this. The head is popping out of this little section right here. If you take the trajectory of the head and go down to the bottom, it would land right inside of the, uh, the hospital right there. Draining the swamp, green swamp wilderness. All right, so this is going to be when he talks about one demonically or the demonic channels possessed Gene Rebel doing entire shows about him, videos, every video is about John Fleck. Then he'll switch over to the other twin, and then the other twin gives him the finger. Watch, watch how it works. I deal with so many demonically possessed people, lunatics, people that do entire channels about me because they have nothing better to do because they're that deranged. It's like, all right, so here's the one. Here's, in other words, I think this would be Gene Rebel right here. And then what he's saying to John DeCleck is, and I'd say read between the lines. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Huh. How convenient. Two weeks ago, Stephen James here has is using that. Right? Quickening spirit. And this is actually three months ago. So Gene Revel, Stephen James to Sean, this Jonathan Click, the uh, other twin, all connections together. Well, that's golly, God bless you with your Christianity. Y'all come on down here. Let's spend a bunch of money. We'll get it all fixed up. You guys. So I think this is the good Johnny, but the Stephen James Johnny is like, or the Gene Rebel Johnny is making fun of the, that's why he's putting his voice, a higher pitched voice. Send us money. Thank you so much. Now everybody get the hell out. So I think he was talking to Steve and Jim or uh, Kathy and Karen or. Everybody get the hell out. Thank you so much. Now everybody get the hell out. Now who is this? Who are these? Who are they really? And Jim and Karen Sullivan were invited. And because, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to speak plainly. It was an indictment to Karen. It was an indictment. And Karen could be also a.k.a. Gene Rebel. To the twin female system. Because... Karen was speaking behind my back the whole time. While I was out there doing all my work at the art. 
But then I know sometimes people admit who they are and they're like saying about somebody else speaking in third person, but it's really them. And I'm sitting there slaving away. But what if this is Jim, Kathy, and Karen behind bodysuit mask and voices? Sitting there slaving away. To put this thing on for the well-being of everybody. Karen so You know, Joel Karim, Steve Chen, and uh, Chad Hurley. Even was talking shit about me behind my back. It's just a fact. The Lord alerted me to it. Nobody came and said, hey, Karen's talking shit. The Lord God himself told me to confront her. Turns out she was over there on the porch while I'm working my ass off. Man, I'm about to tell Jonathan to pack his shit and get the fuck out of here. That's her real heart. That's Karen Sullivan's real heart. I'm going to tell Jonathan to pack his shit and get the fuck out of here. Why did you say that? Why? Because she spoke evil of the servant. She spoke evil. That would be an admission of Karen Sullivan to the other John DeClerc. You know how those hand signals work? The Andrea knows. That one of you. I mean, my goodness, when I see this, it reminds me of my own kid picture. Right behind me there, the eye. The other one doesn't look like there is an eye, but the nose comes down like that. The tongue is sticking out, but it's really my ear in front of, you know, just the background of some what that has like an arm around me, really large, giant, hairy uh, arm connected to my mom's red arm. Let's start here. Jonathan Click, you look like George Bush. Uh, you can see the eyes behind there. I think that's who you, you may be. Uh, but when you listen, huh? what the hell is that? Is that? Are we supposed to be able to see behind you, through you, or is that just a string? Anyway, uh, Watch how one twin is good with Jim and the other one isn't good with Jim. But it's like going back and forth, trying to make it seem like, well, you must be a hypocrite. Well, what if the one Jonathan is really good, the other one isn't, and it's the two different twins? And like the saying goes, all the world's a stage. We're merely players. So let me show you how one of Satan's biggest players... Let me show you how he got us here. There, you're going to see people like Karen Sullivan when she was on her deathbed, when the Lord sent me here. She was on her deathbed. You'll see it. You'll see her, and then you'll see her here. You'll see Jim before he was converted. He looked. Uh, What's going on with the leg? It. Is she supposed to dismiss it for the weeds? I don't know. Uh, he looked like a little bit like Gandalf, a uh, cross between Gandalf and uh, the Scottish uh, army. <laughs> Super. So the new Jim, that means he, he's good friends with him, but then listen to the other twin. Super. Jim's always been super cool as long as I've known him. And I like the new Jim because you get to see the complete new creation. The Bible says you'll be a new creation in Christ. And uh, Jim was one of those guys that just did not. Like, this could be Gene Revel. Could not watch a Jonathan Clegg video. <laughs> now we're good friends. <clears throat> now we're good friends. So I was, I was furious. And then maybe this is the other one? I was so pissed off. I, I, told, I told Jim, I said, I'll get in my car. I'll drive there right now. And I'll meet you on the front lawn. And I'll meet you on the front lawn. I will. I'll get in my car right now and drive all the way there. You will not treat people that way. Not, not with me involved. I, that's how pissed off I was. Jim's always been super cool as long as I've known him. And I like. So this would be one, one twin is trying to just make the other twin look ridiculous as if it's the same person being a hypocrite back and forth. That's what I'm getting out of. The new Jim, because you get to see the complete new creation. The Bible says you'll be a new creation in Christ. And I'll meet you on the front lawn. 
I'll turn the other cheek a few times and I'll slap you upside the head. And I said, bring it whenever you're ready. I'm just sick of them and their bullshit. I even, I even said, I bet you hit like a little girl. So whenever you're ready, let me know. That's not nice. Is he gonna come in here? He's gonna take my hand. If you hit like a little girl, he will. Yeah. Uh, come on, enemy. You will come out and take my hand. I bet you hit like a little girl. And I can take you. Nice word. You should say kick his butt. Uh, Dude, if you don't think I can see their twin bullshit system, then you are wrong. And if you don't like me saying bullshit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will. I'll get in my car right now and drive all the way there. Now I don't know about. Now I don't know about all that, Johnny. I'm kind of getting the impression that Jim here he might not be wanting to look at any more of your videos, yeah. let alone hear your voice. <clears throat> Now we're good friends. Now we're good friends. And there's this. So here. Let me ask you this question, Joe. If one twin can get on, let's say the twin with Corey and Zach is the one that is the evil one. Let's just say that for a minute. And then let's just say that Gene Rebel is really Stephen James to Sean. And what he's doing is he he has access to uploading videos on his with his moniker and neither one of them are saying that that's what's what the case is but that was the beginning of maybe three of them all together can have access to making a video at any given point in time they just put on the mask and then say some different things so this Stephen James Deshaun type of a Jonathan Click twin could be getting on and doing the because he even said one time, like, hey, Brad, like I knew him, like, huh? Who are you? Oh, I get it now. Jonathan, when your thought process goes all funny like that, and that reptile side of your brain starts kicking in again. Because maybe that reptile side of the brain is the evil twin that gets up and does videos. Where does your Jesus go? Now, don't forget. Like, so this guy here would be. A big part of what I was doing at the get-together was this. This would be the Johnny that's looking to dis discredit the good Johnny. I did this image. I did this image. I did this image. Because he knew that making images an idol, and in the end, that's what he, he'll use his own clip against his, his other twin the silhouette of Christ like a shadow like, like a, a shadow. shadow and how many times have we heard Jonathan talking about just how evil an image is an image is our host body that Satan made he would say in his image to shade illusion resemblance since a representative figure especially an idol a vain show you know and then so that was the one Johnny and then the other one to get on to discredit him would be this one no I still don't get it what exactly Maybe. is it again that gives Jonathan the authority to be able to fabricate an image just like this one an image that he ground out of metal and it sure does look like it's in the likeness of a man all right but what man are you trying to show us JJ Jesus in the very same manner that you want us to trust your ground out interpretation I mean she said that's what she's seen in heaven but for some reason her doctrine of belief sounded nothing like yours so which Jesus are we looking at here Jonathan Is that the one on the left, Glenn Carlson? This video has the let me see here okay. 
Huh. Yeah, that's something unusual. I wonder if Steve I wonder if Steve had you you know, your boss. I wonder if Steve had you uh put that video on that song with your with your Jesus hair. Because after all, he already has the zipper on his video, and then months beforehand, the zipper with the other twin. The true father in heaven <laughs> really tell you to grind that idol out of metal. And I what are you, you talking about Hitler here? <laughs> Maybe he was going for that the little Hitler stash, winking his eye. There's only one Hitler image on you on the internet that shows him winking his eye, and I wonder if that was the one that they put up to see if anybody can catch it. The only one is a cartoon. You don't see him actually winking his eye. Also over there, looks like. Because the stash is the, the blue portion. Because the stash would be there and the eye open and the eye winking. Gets morphed together into a nice pointy triangle in front of his face. And here's what really happens. And they're doing this and they both grabbed each other's hand and they went like this. So they're holding each other's hand. The two twins, the two females have become one. Yeah. It's her Polish. Two females become one along with Jim and the Philadelphia landscape, <clears throat> the very dead center of Logan Square. You just skydive down to the slave collar and then head right to the very dead center of the Logan Square. You have the male here and then the two females there. Female, female, and then the male is the one with the sword and catching the big fish. And he has a bunch of other fish on the side of him. And there's three unclean frogs. Well, they look clean. You get the turtle, three turtles, you get three three frogs. Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, Joel Karim. It all reminds me of that. So wouldn't that be something if one <clears throat> that one Jonathan Clark channel had two to three different people at the same time uploading videos, contradicting each other, 
sound exactly the same, act the same, because they're all triplets. But all three of them have a different belief system. But then... At that, at that water, where that water is, all three streams, underground streams, flow together into this one bullseye. Bullseye. There's the target. The all-seeing eye are the three unclean frogs. And then there's another another all-seeing eye. See this one here? She's riding the beast system in Michigan. And there's like an, another eye over here. Oh, look at what you're looking at. Linwood, Linwood, Michigan. Right along Route 13. Somewhere in that, right around that area there, right? Right in that eye, the left eye. Then what are you trying to say? Jonathan Kleck is Polish? Like on my mom's side, Kupchinski? So if you want to see a great example of what a big steamy pile of hypocritical crap looks like, watch this. These two right here, I, I put their picture right there. On, I told Dave, please put their picture there so we can see that two acts right there and them doing the... See, when I do this, I do this, two ups. They're doing two downs. Isn't that fascinating? It's pretty in other words, here's this Jonathan Click, and then here's this Jonathan Click. They already became one. They were enemies at one point. Until they were discovered. All had going back then, it was a satanic gesture, which now somehow means that they're demons from the pit. But the elephant in the room, and the thing that nobody will mention, <clears throat> is that, Jonathan, you're the one that taught him how to do it. Lost in the crowds, to just be an anonymous face in the throngs of people that were in the city of Rome. So, that's risky business. Because if you are a runaway slave 2,000 years ago, and you are caught, they would brand you on the forehead with a large F, F not for your grade in class, but worse than that, it was fugitivus. The F stood for that, fugitivus, fugitive. Oftentimes, those who were stamped with that letter F, when they were brought back to their master, were killed. No questions asked, just killed. So he's, uh, he's on thin ice, you might say. He's run away from his master. He's in Rome. He's hanging out with a prisoner. But while he's in Rome, something happens to him. As I said, Paul leads him to Christ. So what happens to Onesimus in Rome is Onesimus finds a new master named Jesus Christ, and his life is transformed. So th that's these two, Tychicus and this hard to get along with, I'm guessing, runaway slave by the name of Onesimus. And I love this. I love it. Is and was started back in the 1950s, actually, a guy by the name of Francis Schaefer and his wife, Edith, who started a little fellowship for uh, people who were struggling with their faith and needed to... My grandma's name was Edith, my dad's side. She died a lot earlier than my other grandma, my mom's grandma. Butchy, but a butt, butchy, butt cheeks. Butchy is Polish for grandma. She died around eighty-eight, and I think, I think she was Satan incarnate. And then my aunt, my aunt Barbie, who was my my father William's sister, and their mother was.
Edith. Uh, she died early, too, from AIDS. And so did the guy that she was with, Porky, called him. They both died around, like, the same day, almost. So that's unusual, too, that name's there. All these little, little tiny connections all over the place. Sure, it's all just random. Beneficial. And that's the story of Onesimus. We have a transformed man who becomes a servant of Christ and a friend to Paul the Apostle. Paul befriends him, and this man is faithful to Paul. So friendliness, friendliness. Here's the second quality of a healthy relationship, fearlessness, fearlessness. Now, I take you to verse 8 where he talks about Tychicus, and then he says, I am sending him to you. And then verse 9, with Onesimus. So both of these men are about to be dispatched. Both of these men are going to be traveling on a journey, uh, which means they are about to be in a very dangerous situation. See, traveling in the ancient world was, was a dangerous proposition. Today, you lose your luggage. Gang stalkers. Back then, you could lose your life. Just going from point A to point B, it was very typical. Uh, the robbers that were on the roads, especially where the Roman army was not. And uh, gang stalkers. And so a good ingredient in any relationship is to have somebody who is willing to take a risk and dispense of their comfort, at least temporarily. And that sums up Tychicus and Onesimus. First thing to be associated with a prisoner, that's dangerous in and of itself. Um, it was always customary to look down on somebody who was a prisoner. I used to be a prisoner. Paul was a prisoner. Um, if you're associated with a prisoner and it doesn't go well <clears throat> for the prisoner, you could easily be implicated. And he That's why Stephen James talks trash about me being my, my criminal record, my past history. Because back then, I wasn't who I am now. Completely different person lose your life and keep in mind Onesimus I'm looking I, I don't never heard his names but I try to picture who's Onesimus who's Onesimus already is a fugitivus <laughs> right so it's dangerous now back to Tychicus for a moment who could Tychicus be Tychicus I was just wondering is it one of the is it the click channel is it Steve and Unum? I mean, you were talking about the 300 the 300 Club, so that was a connection to the other one you're talking with. Tychicus came from what town did I say? Because it would be some really top, high-profile people that are able to make a change because but they're just not going along with that program over there anymore. Ephesus, Ephesus, okay. So remember... Tychicus is from Ephesus. Lakeland Medical. L the Almighty God Stadium. Mary Gardner. You know, the other side. They're marked, he was saying, they're marked with a big F, like Ephesus. Ephesus. So he shows up in Acts chapter 20. He's a native of Ephesus. Um, just want to make sure you got that point down. So, native of Lakeland so Park. Uh, Tychicus was probably there in Ephesus when a riot broke out in that town. A riot broke out where people rushed into the amphitheater calling out for two hours, great is Diana of the Ephesians. Tychicus was probably with Paul in, that means his life also was endangered. He was with Paul going to Jerusalem. All the way he went to Jerusalem, wherever he stopped, there were prophets here and prophets there and people saying, don't go to Jerusalem. And whoever goes to Jerusalem is going to be bound and arrested. He gets to Jerusalem with Tychicus and Paul is arrested. 
So we have a man who is willing to risk his life with Paul the Apostle. So it sounds like Tychicus and Paul the Apostle kind of hung out more than Paul the Apostle and Amesus. He may have even stayed for two years in Caesarea with Paul as Paul was incarcerated waiting trial. A little what? I can prove it all day long. A little, little who? Genesis. I'm just getting started. I'm just giving you a little teaser right now. And he may have even been on the boat ride that went from Caesarea to Rome, and now. Rome. Rome. Just read from. From right to left, like Hebrew. But, uh, with a Latin language. Rome, and now he is helping Paul while he is in Rome. What that means, Paul was very isolated and alone, especially his second imprisonment. But isolated and alone. Uh, if if the one John the Click is playing the pole role, which is the actual pole role, then the other three, the other click, wouldn't be the same one at Corey and, and I think they're playing the other Paul was getting visitors or something like that. Tychicus was fearless along with Paul in that realm. And then, oh, uh, Stichicus, but it came along at the same time, too. But Tychicus was fearless. Now, when I say fearless as an element of friendship, I don't just mean um, being uh, willing and able to risk their comfort for you and stand up for you, be fearless in that way, but also uh, a, a, an essential element of a good relationship is somebody who is fearless in telling you the truth. So Tychicus was like that as well. If he was with Paul and Sounds like myself. In Ephesus, it says that the brethren had to restrain Paul from going into that theater because Paul wanted to speak to them, preach the gospel to them. And they knew if he goes in, he's dead meat. So Tychicus and the rest of the gang had, had to say, you're not going in. I love you that much to be that honest with you. You're not going in. All the news about me. And then verse. So friendliness, fearlessness. Let me give you a third quality. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. And both of them were faithful. You'll notice in verse 7, Tychicus, a beloved brother, faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord will tell you all the news about me. And then verse 9, with Onesimus, a Faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. Interesting that, uh, well, I get Tychicus being faithful and all that he has done for Paul and traveling with Paul to Jerusalem and back and maybe being on that boat now with him in jail. But the, the jail portion reminds me of. Let's say you're a top channel like the John the Click channel, and then you lose your channel, and basically you're now you're in jail. You're just you're 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 punished. You're you're in prison now. But it's interesting that he calls Onesimus faithful. It's interesting that he doesn't just say Tychicus is so faithful, and also Onesimus is with him. So just bear with him. Bear with him. Onesimus and Tychicus, Tychicus. Onesimus is faithful because he keeps doing videos, he keeps talking, he keeps praying, he keeps uh, he keeps doing it regardless. But he says, with Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother. I, I say that's interesting because 
Is your brothers? He stole money from his master. Onesimus was, by his previous action, a very faithless man. A kind See how it his master changed over. Onesimus was, by his previous action, a very faithless man. A conniver, a thief, and he ran away from his master. With that in mind, I want you to look at something with me. I want you to turn to the book of Philemon. If you, if you have a hard time finding it, it's a little book, one chapter. You've got to go to the right, find the book of Hebrews, and go back one street. Play in words. He's been unprofitable in the past. He ripped you off and ran away. But he's profitable to me and to you. Submission. So I know he has been faithless to you as a servant in the past, but that was B.C., before Christ. Now that he's saved, he is a servant of Christ. He's been a faithful servant to me. Is it okay if he continues to minister with me? I'm sending him back, but you've got to give your permission fugitive slave and make that person a faithful servant in the Lord. He can take a criminal, a thief, uh, a liar, a loser, and turn them into trustworthy men and women of God. I mean, look at us. 